Welcome to this presentation of the new STM32 support package for MATLAB and Simulink. The package includes the integration of Kyle MDK ARM, IAR eWARM, and Atolic True Studio development environments, as well as a peripheral block set for Simulink based on the STM32F4, which means now you get blocks in Simulink, which you can drag and drop into your Simulink model and you have access to the hardware I.O. interface. Traditionally, code generated from Simulink's embedded coder is platform-independent ANSI ISO-compliant C code. With this new STM32 support package, the embedded coder now generates optimized code for the STM32F4 and other STM32 Cortex-M processors based on the CMSYS platform. The package offers full processor in-the-loop support to perform functional equivalence testing between the simulated model of an algorithm and the actual generated object code on the target. MathWorks Simulink is a model-based design workflow with the application's requirements described with formal and informal models. The code is then generated from the models instead of writing it by hand. Thanks to this support package, this model-based workflow can be executed more efficiently and with superior results for the STM32 devices. The starting point is an executable specification instead of paper documents. Code is generated automatically instead of writing it manually using automated software integration and verification capabilities. Customers using this methodology report up to a 30% reduction in development time and cost. Let's look at development of a model-based design workflows example of a motor control application. In this diagram, we have a plant model of a permanent motor synchronous machine with a field-oriented controller. At the center is the plant model itself of the system that should be regulated. And we have the control algorithm that will be running on an STM32 that is on this evaluation board. As for any simulation, we have system inputs stimulus and output parts for analyzing the system response. The first step is to build the model in Simulink. We specify how the plant should look and what the controllers should do. We will add some supervisory logic inside the controller. We will implement a state machine using a state flow diagram. The next step is to evaluate if the system and the control algorithm behaves in the expected manner. For instance, in this case, the controller is supposed to ramp up the motor to 1000 RPM. In the left window, we see the command value. In the right window is the simulation result. We see the resulting PWM duty cycles that are generated by the controller, and we can verify that the system is behaving as expected. Now we can generate the C code we want to run on the STM32 processor. MATLAB generates standard ANSI C and C++ code. But with the STM32 support package, we have the ability to use a feature called Code Replacements. In this example, we have the Simulink drawing doing a transformation using a sine and cosine function. So, when code generation has started with the embedded coder, the standard C implementation of the sine function would no longer be used. Instead, the optimized version from the DSP lib will be substituted, thus increasing the speed of the algorithm. The second key feature of the STM32 support package is the process in the loop capability using one of the supported development environments, Kyle ARM MDK, and the embedded coder. We've seen earlier that we can test our control algorithm by simulating it. But how can we be sure that the compiled algorithm on the target still behaves the same way as it did in the simulation? We can do this with processor-in-the-loop testing. In this case, the optimized STM32C code component is generated, it is compiled and linked into an object file, and then downloaded via JTAG onto the target board. A communication link between the target and the Simulink model is established. So part of the code is still running on the host, but the control algorithm is running down on the target. The stimuli and test cases that we've been using in this simulation can now be used with the real STM32 in the loop. If the code generator is correct, we can expect to get the same results as we had in the simulation. 
Finally, the STM32 package includes a set of building blocks for integrating I.O. peripherals for the STM32F4 MCU. With it, we can easily drag and drop from a library to our Simulink model peripherals like GPIO, ADC, timers, UARTs, etc. So you can generate optimized STM32 code with the embedded coder You've got a block set where you simply have to drag and drop the interfaces onto your Simulink model, then you press Build, and the stuff will be built by the embedded coder and downloaded onto the target. Then you can connect your hardware and say, OK, I'm done. I did my implementation also. In summary, a new support package is now available for MATLAB, Simulink, and embedded coder. With it, and thanks to the code replacement function, you can generate optimized code for the STM32 Cortex-M MCU instead of simply generating the ISO ANSI C code. An automatic build verification and integration capabilities is provided for Atolic IAR and Kyle IDE. We can verify that the compiled code behaves the same way in the real hardware as it did in the simulation, by using the processor in the loop simulation function. All these features combine to deliver significant gains in product development speed and improved software quality. For more information, please visit www.st.com.